Japan's space agency has successfully recovered asteroid samples. For the second time ever, humanity has brought asteroid samples down to Earth. A small capsule bearing pristine pieces of the near-Earth asteroid Ryugu touched down on December 5th within the remote area, about 310 miles, or 500 kilometers, northwest of the South Australian capital of Adelaide. The samples were snagged millions of miles from Earth by Japan's Hayabusa 2 mission, which studied the 3,000-foot-wide, 900 meters, Ryugu up close from June 2018 to November 2019. Scientists hope the samples, which are expected to amount to no more than 0.1 grams of material, could help shed light on the origin of life and the formation of the universe. The capsule carrying samples entered the atmosphere, creating a shooting star-like fireball as it entered Earth's atmosphere en route to the landing site down under. A few hours later, the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, JAXA, confirmed the samples had been recovered, with help from beacons emitted by the capsule as it plummeted to Earth after separating from Hayabusa 2 on Saturday. The capsule, recovered in the southern Australian desert, will now be in the hands of scientists performing initial analysis including checking for any gas emissions. Scientists are especially keen to discover whether the samples contain organic matter, which could have helped seed life on Earth. The work for Hayabusa 2 is not over, however. It will now begin an extended mission targeting two new asteroids. It will complete a series of orbits around the Sun for around six years before approaching the first of the asteroids, named 2001 CC21, in July 2026. After taking photographs, it will then head towards its main target, 1998 KY26, a ball-shaped asteroid with a diameter of just 30 meters. When the probe arrives at the asteroid in July 2031, it will be approximately 300 million kilometers from Earth. But Hayabusa 2 is unlikely to land and collect samples, as it probably would not have enough fuel to return them to Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you enjoyed hearing some positive news. If you did and you want to support this channel, please share this video with your friends or consider hitting the subscribe button. This is Alex, the voice of the What The Fact channel. That's all for today's episode, so stay curious and see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.